Hi, my name is Brendan Woodhouse, and uh, thank you for listening to me uh, today on Holocaust Memorial Day. Um, I am a refugee rescue uh, worker, um, volunteer activist, whatever you want. I drive speedboats and rescue refugees from the um, central Mediterranean, predominantly also off the shore of Lesbos, um, for an organisation called Sea Watch. I've been doing that for the last five years now, in, in, a, in a way, from my time from work. Um, as you can probably imagine, I've been and been and seen, been to and seen quite a lot of uh, a lot of things in that time. And um, yeah, so I'm here to talk about Holocaust Memorial Day. I've not got long, so I'm just going to smash straight on. Um, so thank you for listening to me. The um, Following the end of the Second World War, we promised we'd learn a whole lot of lessons. We, it was, it was supposed to uh, um, be lessons that we would we would sign a pledge to never ever again, to, lest we forget to not do those things again. That we would never have a Holocaust again. That we would never see concentration camps again. That we would never um, turn our backs on people running away from war. Um, that we would never bomb towns and cities again. We we signed the Geneva Convention and we signed signed also, and also the 1951 Refugee Convention um, to enshrine those lessons that we'd learned way back then in law. And um, I can tell you very clearly that those lessons are very quickly becoming a thing of the uh, a thing of the past. We're having to relearn those lessons. Um, there were refugees crossing the central mediterranean sea every single day and um we are turning our backs on them over and over and over again and we hear or uh, we hear from them of the experiences that they've had of concentration camp like f places in syria and in libya where again these things are happening they're happening on our they're happening on our behalf and no, on our government's own knowledge we we are aware that these things are occurring and people are fleeing from wars and hiding. And just like Anne Frank tried to get away and we turned our back on her, we're turning our back on refugees today. And um, history is important. Holocaust Memorial Day is important because it gives us the opportunity to reflect on what has happened and on the promises that we made to make sure that they wouldn't happen again. And also to spend and I looking at the present and the future. And if we want to learn those lessons, then it's it's time to start writing to our politicians and saying that we should we should welcome refugees now and uh, never repeat those mistakes of Holocaust. And thank you for listening to me.